Hiya and welcome to today's video. So today I'm going to talk about my experience of running my first full marathon. I did it on April the 28th, so this Sunday just gone. And that was the same day as the London marathon. But I was in Blackpool for it because I couldn't get a place in London. So my overall time was 4 hours 24 minutes and 25 seconds which I'm happy with because during training I had lots of issues with my knee playing up then my back went so in training I only managed to actually get up to 30 mile so like I said I'm happy with the time it will improve on my next one because I have signed up for the London ballot and if I don't get London I'll do Blackpool again next year. So while I was running round I was fine for the first half and I felt amazing at the halfway mark and when I hit mile 22 that's when I really started to hurt and struggle bad. I did have twinges from about 17 mile-ish but nothing too serious but at the 22 mile mark I was in pain and the last two miles of it I ended up just having to walk because I couldn't run a step but I was able to walk so I did finish it which I'm happy with but the other thing I want to say is I was an independent runner raising money for a fairly large charity and personally I found it a bit of a kick in the teeth that all the charity seemed to focus on was the people running London and obviously their official well their official runners if I can't think of a better word for it which are obviously earning them thousands of pounds and anyone else who was doing it off their own back for the charity seemed to get no recognition no acknowledgement for the efforts it for the charity it was all about the 31 people who were all raising them a minimum of two thousand pound plus so for all the little guys who was just raising a couple hundred pound or less it they didn't seem to be cared about whatsoever no acknowledgement and like I said it was all oh well done to all these super people that have completed London for us you're brilliant and that's made me to think do I really want to actually carry on fundraising for this charity because like I said a bit of appreciation would be would be nice and it goes a long way and when you feel like you've done all that hard work and they're not even bothered about you because you're not earning them thousands in sponsorship is a kick in the teeth and to me the better off having lots of people getting them £50, £100, £200 regular than one person who will get them £2,000 and never do anything for them again that's my personal opinion what do you guys think whether you have done it for a large charity as an official member of the team where you've got to get a minimum amount of sponsorship or done it on your own back where you've paid to enter the race yourself and you're just getting your own sponsorship for them do you feel appreciated because personally I don't think there's any appreciation for anybody else other than the people who've done London or the big events as a member of their team so sorry about the rant but I think it had to be done I'm not going to say over charities on this video but I know you guys aren't stupid and you'll know how to find out because obviously I've done other videos about the rum so like I said let me know what you think would you actually run for charities again have you had any bad experience with certain charities leave a message in the comments and let me know so as always thanks a lot for watching this video i do apologize that it's just rambling on 
and look after yourselves, take care and talk later.